is result season, so we continue with our results coverage. Now, Kahiso Media reporting a 2% decrease in healthcare, in, sorry, in headline earnings per share to 80.6 cents. The company saw a 56% increase in revenue to 709 million rand. Now, Murphy Moreba, CEO of Kahiso Media, joins us. Murphy, I made the joke about uh, releasing these results in the shadow of the budget yesterday. You're not in that camp, are you? <laughs> <laughs> not, not quite. I think. Uh, uh, as, as a media company, you know, any r reports from the budgets are always good for us. So uh, it's, uh, but there's a lot in the budget that suggests that uh, a significant amount of mining on our side of the opportunities that it might yeah. bring up, in fact, will be taking place. So. Yeah. Let's talk about those opportunities because one of the issues the ministers yesterday was the allocation of more funds for DTT. I suppose for media companies, particularly within the broadcasting space, this is a big opportunity. It's particularly important, especially for Kahiso Media, which is uh, as a black-owned uh, media company, we, 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 we have been involved in the whole space of trying to get some better articulation mm -hmm. of what opportunities lie in the DTT space for us. Sure. We've been primarily focused on radio over the years, largely mainly because of regulation. Right. And we the DTT would offer some important opportunities for us. Especially Let's detail those if yeah. we can. What would it mean for Kahiso? And how big a transformation do you potentially see the group having because of this? Well, for, for Kahiso Media, it basically means that we, we would be moving into yet another platform, so. and that is television. And where content, especially... You're coming okay. to take us on? <laughs> Matthew. Well, you know, for success, you don't have to take anyone else up. It's about partnerships. I was hoping you would say yeah. you'd have a partner with us. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so there are opportunities on that front. Let's talk then, uh, come back to this set of numbers. And as you said, uh, it has been a difficult um, interim set of numbers here. The revenue up 56%, but co-head learning special just 9%. What happened? Well, uh, I think that there, there had been a, a few once-off uh, events um, that have impacted on that, but primarily I think when one looks at where we are relative to, 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 to the 12-month period that we'll be accounting for in, 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 in June, I think we'll be able to, to come back on track because clearly what would have happened is that where your core headline earnings as a measure that we now introduce in the calculation, yeah, it seeks to define what the sustainable part of our earning profile actually is, which is very important for investors, right. because on the margin, you know, we'll be having activities that would take us up or down, but yeah. in the end, is really where the sustainability lies, and that's really what okay. we're focusing on. Let's talk about where that sustainability lies then in terms of uh, earnings uh, uh, prospects going forward. I think in terms of the sustainability going forward, we, we actually are focusing on strengthening our core. Okay. We're focusing on broadcasting. We're looking at investments that relate to content production because when one looks at the pipelines that are coming, it is clear that we have to be in a good position as Kahiso Media yeah. to play in that space because that will also help to, in fact, to, to, to protect our core, which is broadcasting and radio. Okay, so let's talk broadcasting and radio. Now you're saying, uh, we, we have spoken about what's, what's going to happen on the DTT front. Let's speak about radio. What more can you do with radio? Is there room here for consolidation? Are we not too fragmented? Too many voices, because now we're talking community radio stations, we're talking national, we're talking regional. Well, there is room for consolidation, except, of course, that the regulatory environment would restrict us to only two FM licenses. So our approach is to get into positions where we are able to get the benefit of any radio opportunities out there. And here, of course, we have to look even beyond South Africa. We have been looking in the continent for opportunities. Right. But as you say, there's a lot of fragmentation there. So to go to those other new geographies yeah. would require significant investment. So our project is to be able to get our investors behind us to believe in the vision of what Kahiso Media 
will stand to bring value to yeah. once we make those decisions. Yeah. Of course, you're going to battle with some of the issues that we also have been battling with. I mean, you spoke about content production as being one of the major planks. Now, we know content production is impacted by social media and the explosion of information all, all around us, which, of course, to a degree challenges us, but at the same time, it presents opportunity because it's how credible you are, right? Absolutely. Within the African space, though, what can you do, particularly given we know uh, the attitude of African governments to information distribution? They want to control that source. Uh, that, that's, that's, that's Africa on the one hand. On yeah. the other hand, I think that uh, there's a great degree of promise as uh, democracy, in fact, uh, is, a, is a major issue of discourse in, in, in Africa. So clearly where we are as, as Kahiso Media, like many South African companies, you know, the play in the next 10 to 15 years yeah. is on Africa. True. So as you could see, even international players are making their own moves in that context. So yeah. we, we, I think, are in a better position from a South African perspective yeah. to find those partnerships and right partners right. that would enable us to actually bring our capability to bear on those opportunities. So you speak of partnerships, you're not talking acquisition, you're not talking going there and setting up an office. You know, I think uh, we, we've been around the, the block a few times and we understand that if one is to be successful in the continent, it is important to have good partners, it is important to be trusted, to be seen as bringing value and contributions to those assets. Mephi, before I let you go, perhaps just structure for me what a future Kakiso would look like. I had DTT, I had content production, I had broadcasting and within it, uh, radio. Well, th there's also information information solutions, and right. one of our environments involves, in fact, the the, the information uh, services sector, which is very important. But of course, and here one looks looking for a mix of of platforms that are compatible, that would actually enhance and live off each other, whilst at the same time ensuring that the sustainability of the core is not compromised.